all right so today we're going to take a look at something i am doing here in the solar shed where every single line comes into the pv box here the pv combiner box as individual panels so these are each three parallel panels each and each one of them is combined here to run into the Victron 250 100 the cool part about this is is as you can see from the stats on the page the 12 volt has some very distinct advantages and one of them here is that I can charge 12 volt batteries with all of these panels in in parallel not in series now I have to combine them at the panels into groups of three and then bring them in here and combine them into uh, all together so basically we have 10 panels three six nine twelve how many panels do we have let's walk out there and find out let's count them because we have the the same three six nine no we have 12 panels nice okay so we have the these three panels and you can see here this is where it's going to make a huge difference so these panels would not produce anything until all three of these are in sunlight but as you can see right now two of them are full sun practically uh, and so now those have already started producing as you can see we are already up over into the four and five hundred mark of watts now at the end of the day we'll know how much power is generated completely but you can also see up here on the top that one still has shade but this one is in full sun well not quite full sun yet so we still have to deal with that tree right there coming up over the in the winter months that tree is right in the way in the summer months it's back over on that side and it doesn't matter but in the winter months it does so as that sun shifts and we still don't have light here and we don't have any light over here we do have a little bit for those two so as you can see we're at 400 and what is it 450 435 these are running parallel i am walking with both of these carrying them together what i also want to try here is put two of these in parallel and just run them into the solar shed and see if i can add another string so i might try that here in a little bit just add two more of these panels uh, in parallel i use these for that power pack that is now in the coffee trailer so it'll be interesting to see if i can get two more running but i don't want to mess up today's statistics because i want to see what the solar shed will produce with it the way it is right now now i can probably see if i can back up and get you a view of the whole thing here but you can see here do i have that on zoom Oh, I do. That's where the problem is. So you can see here, we've got this com this much power coming in, 430 watts. But really, we're only getting power sun to these two panels. Actually, you can see there's shade on that one panel there, too. So really, we're only getting full sun on one panel. But that would have never happened before. This would still be sitting down in the 200 zone uh, if it had not been paralleled together. So as we do this, now I did have to, as I said, put a parallel branch on each of these. So three panels run in here and then run into the shed. And then that is what is combined in the combiner box. That allows me to run at about 12 amps going into the shed and then combine those if they're all maximum output. Now the thing is, is that they don't, all output at the same time i would i'm going looking really looking forward to this afternoon to see what it does though anyway this is one of the final tests before uh two big major changes come to the solar shed um and a little bit of a uh, little bit of a an announcement here the solar shed is going to grow in size we are going to move and i am going to have a huge solar shed uh, build go on where I build it all out and add all the solar back and start over 
uh, with a much bigger system and a much bigger platform to test with and everything. So this is kind of the last hurrah I ran around last yesterday and threw all these combiners on here, these parallel connectors, so that we could get an idea of what this would produce with the already known given stats before we move to our new location. Uh, so all right, so I'm going to stand in front of this panel, and as you can see, it is the producer of most of the solar panel here. Now, I did lose my audio, so I'm re-recording this, but I moved to the second panel here, and you'll notice that most of it comes back, meaning that partially shaded panel is really doing nothing, because as I step out of it here, it doesn't even look like it went up at all. That's pretty amazing. So it is that one panel doing it. This is proof that running these in parallel as I start to shade these ones at the top and you see a small drop. Now the question is, is it the drop from the panel at the top or the one that I'm standing in front of? Um, and you can see when I back off, they, it comes right back. So those panels are producing a little bit, but almost, I would say almost 300 of those watts come from that center, center panel right there that has the sunlight. And it is very easy to see from what I'm doing here that um, all of the, the the power is up about 67%. And I'll throw the statistics here on the screen for you to, she, to see the results. And thanks for watching, and thanks to all my subscribers and members, and we will see you at the next Solar Shed when it's much bigger.